Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So right now I will be mounting this kind of blades. I mean you've seen already the video with the with the, with the new blades uh, actually attached to the generator uh, like I, I shown you. Uh, but uh, I want to show you the whole process how it actually happens because right now I'm remounting it so I had to do uh, a little bit of stuff to balance it uh, and yeah let's take a look so about the blades themselves so I measured each of them uh, this is in grams uh, 1745 grams same and 10 grams less so 35 in the end right so uh, we can say they are balanced but uh, I mean this one is obviously a little bit down on the scale but um, the, the, the tolerance of the weight tolerance that I have is 5 grams so probably they are somewhere this can be 43 and this can actually be 37 so I mean technically the, the, there is a possibility that the deviation is not that big but it can be also the vice versa it can be technically 47 and 33 so can be bigger but still not much anyways let me show you from the close look how the custom hub looks like so uh, first of all uh, let me show let me grab the one that was coming from the factory yeah this one you have seen it already it's pretty thick it's aluminum uh, it's cone inside I mean here the diameter is bigger than on this side uh, and I mean well it's lightweight anyways for my case I decided to use the old good steel it's a lot heavier it's six millimeter thick only but still it's more than enough uh, it has same holes and it has really custom made thing to mount to be mounted on the shaft so it has a thread that exactly matches the shaft on the generator and it has the uh, neat and nice sitting place you see because the shaft itself look I have this one the piece of the shaft from the generator like the same one that is on the on, on the wind turbine so it looks like this so I want to actually screw it down to the very bottom uh, so it, it is threaded as well but again it has to not only sit on the thread it has to sit at least one centimeter on this on, on this piece so it is tightly connected and it's really having uh, the balance left so that's why I'm using this thing and well that, let's see how it works so that's the idea in general and like nothing specifically the only thing that is left from factory made is like this plate it will fit here uh, blades in between uh, right well of course, and of course some like bolts bolts and nuts to connect to attach the blades and I will have to use uh, once I mount it on the shaft I will have to of course use the nut specifically to lock it uh, so it will have the double locker, it will have the, pr how do you call it, the press washer uh, that will be used to connect the, the, the flange to, the, to this one uh, and again there will be the nuts over with, the, with the nylon overlock on top so it, has, it will have double, double locking system so it will not fall and fail down so that's, that's my idea. So let me mount it, let me connect it and I will uh, get it mounted again and we will talk about the starting speeds and everything else we will see this all in action. So here it is assembled that's how it looks like and it will be mounted very very soon on this place so here how it, how it actually looks from the close from the close by and like don't worry like these 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 bolts I mean I, I know they I, I see that they kind of like stick down from there but uh, they will not touch the generator I actually measured that already I will show it to you once it's mounted so you will be sure it's also all okay but yeah that's 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 how it looks like I mean this seems to be a thing uh, but apparently it's it's good enough believe me it's good enough let me let me mount it and I'll show you from 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 the top there how it looks like. Okay, so I'm here at the top of the generator and well, let me show you this kind of small hand. So first a couple of washers, two actually, rather thin one, and then the the press washer on the shaft. So it will actually leave very barely enough room for this to fit into, and I mean it will just sit exactly exactly tight and will not touch any piece of the generator. So let me mount it and show it to you. What a view. I mean, I kind of like this wilderness. 
so far yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is mounted. So here is the press washer on this side on the left and on the right there is a lock and nut additional one. So that's the best thing that I can think could think about how to lock this and like to make it uh, not go out during the rotation because the rotation is counterclockwise as I told you. On this one for example and on everyone else, uh, that one on bigger ones, I mean behind me there is another one, uh, it's clockwise and here it is counterclockwise and the thing that I was worried about also this place, I mean realistically you see how thin it is, how little space it's here, maybe 13-14 millimeters and because I have the cable here it's even worse, it's even worse so I mean once you get to the cable, it's it's getting even 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 tougher. I mean, seriously. Anyways, it's on. Let me try the rotation. How does it go? Goes nicely and smoothly so far. Let's see how will it behave. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I mean, seriously, we have to wait for the wind and then we will see everything in action. I will have to think of a different nut here, lock or nut. I mean, because <clears throat> I will have to attach the cone, as I told you already. Uh, I have the idea how to do this, just like needs a little bit of time to get it and to get it done correctly. So yeah, let's wait for the wind and see what will be the startup and if we will get to some production, will, will there be enough rotations, whatever. Let's just see. Okay, just got down and uh, caught, caught a moment of start. You see the S3 goes and the M3 actually already started. This one barely like pushed a little bit and, and stopped. I don't know, uh, looks like it was not enough for it to actually get starting, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign because, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm like, I mean, I'm confident about this one because it has a really tiny generator, so it will start <laughs> as quick as it can. Uh, like, it, like one meter per second, it already goes, like real literally. If this one will start at two, I will be more than happy. Uh, Let's just wait and see, let's just wait and see. Okay, and I just like get into the garage and get out and look, everybody started except this one. Uh, because well, it literally requires a little bit more start, but it then speed up really, really quickly. But I mean, all of them go, all of them go. I just wonder if there will be any more additional vibration because like this one gives, and I mean, this means that I have to like reapply the tension on the wire, wire cables. Uh, um, that's what I have to do because, well, uh, obviously this is something that you have to do from time to time and probably it's already time. But so far it goes nice and no noise, literally, out of any of them. So let me go and see how does it work on the controller side. But everybody, as I told you, everybody goes clockwise. Oh, this one started finally. Everybody goes clockwise except this one. This one goes counterclockwise. But the rotation so far is good. I mean, I see a little bit of wobble, but I believe this one goes from the bigger guy, the one that is on top, that, that makes every, every, all the structure getting wobbled. So I will have to recheck it. But uh, yeah, yeah, let's go and check what's on the controller side, if it reaches some voltage. Let's go. Okay, so let's get to the controller side. So let me remind you, it's the S3, the smallest one, current voltage is the M3, current voltage. And the self made voltage. Some watts, I mean, it, there is no charge sign, but I mean, it, it actually puts something into the capacitors and then will release it at some point because like the charge button flashes. And that's, that's actually kind of correct because it will uh, get everything that it can and, and put it into the battery, like, but it will be like doing this with impulses. But I mean, seriously, to get to something realistic, we have to get to 22 volts, but that is not good enough yet, because the wind is still way below three. 2.6, well, it's from two to 2.5, and the biggest one, 16 volts, not enough for production. Uh, what do we have here? On the fan, we have 20, 20, 22 volts, 32 is required for MPPT to start even to start thinking and 33, 34 will get some production. So yeah, not yet, but I mean, I'm impressed to see the rotations that are quite good and it actually goes. So, well, 
let's just wait for the bigger wins and see how it behaves and will it produce something on, on something that is that is nice and bigger and nicer and bigger. I mean it has to blow, I mean at least somehow to get the production because two meters per second literally what can you get out of it? A couple of watts, that's it. So let's get to three, four something. See you, see you later guys, and I will update you later on once you, I see something serious. Right now we have just like caught the moment of start. And I mean, that's, that's already good enough.